you can only compare uh, with the or compare two condition you can't you can't do something like um, uh, condition oh my writing is crap condition a a a in french or uh, condition b condition c you can't do this in with the or block because you can't do or for instance you can do this this or this and this or this you can't so the or block has its limit for this it's okay but uh, maybe you will have at some point a pickup that will enable a super power of invincibility like in Mario Bros. Yep, exactly. Mm, ah, or I should write it actually instead of uh, drawing it. You can't do this. Exactly. Thank you, Kiat. Exactly. Um, so, uh, you, you could have uh, this kind of formulation happen in this situation if, like in Mario, you take the, the star, you know, the one who makes you, uh, uh, the pickup who makes you invincible, but you're not invincible against falling. So you will have to do if uh, this or overlap spikes and I'm not invincible, I die. And you wouldn't be able to do this like this. So you would have to either revert to this solution and add a new condition. Uh, uh, let's say uh, I will do something uh, totally... Uh, yeah, god mode. If you uh, are not in god mode, you die. But there's also uh, another solution which involves the third control flow I explained. And I want to introduce it, I won't go too in depth in it because you can do a lot of things with it. But I will just show you how it works. You can have a function plugin. I show you this because there's already some of the students ask me uh, asking me about it so I will show you the function plugin by habit I rename the function plugin with a f like in in math or just for uh, because it can get uh, very long and you can do an on function and name you name a function this way on dead or rather on death you do these things so you don't need this anymore and you just have to call the function call function death instead of doing this and then you will just simply die and you will be able to add any event you want and you will just have to add this function to die He, he, I die. He, 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 I die. And he, if I touch the checkpoint, I die. I go back to the checkpoint. So, <coughs> functions, one of the good use of function is to avoid repetition of code. And if I had to represent now the um, how um, this control flow uh, works, I will do it here. Uh, you have your instruction, your action exactly. I'm talking about action here. They are executing in this order. Then you can have 
a condition which makes you either go here or go here or go here and then you continue your action you can have a loop you reach here and you will do something go back hmm. rather like this go back go back go back and time any, any number of time uh, your loop is running then you will continue the execution and then there's function function are like a list of instructions the same way you have it here but outside of your list of uh, instruction and you can at some point call a function you will jump to the function execute the function and return here exactly that's kind of uh, some sub part of your program which makes them pretty nifty I don't want to go too far uh, about talking about function be because we can go pretty far but to sum up this part when uh, the um, execution the flow of execution will uh, will read your events this part will be totally ignored I don't even I'm not even sure but I think uh, uh, the first time the event is passed it takes out the function somewhere and it's like you your function doesn't exist it's in memory somewhere and then you encounter the function it will jump to the function execute this part and then go back just after the function so here that's really I like I really like function because it allows you to more easily separate some parts of your uh, code and by separate I mean isolate them avo avoid uh, some interaction that was pretty uh, uh, hard to handle before uh, the function existed and uh, they're out of the flow of event it, they have uh, lots of uh, good qualities uh, that make them useful one of the things I like to do about function is just create some utility functions that uh, for instance uh, if I want a function uh, if I, uh, I don't know if I input uh, uh, two angle uh, yeah. this function already <laughs> exists in construct by default but uh, uh, when I like to have sometimes is the one function that returns the sign of a number uh, so I create this function if you want I can show you how to create such function uh, but uh, yeah I, um, I like some little utility function to extend the function construct doesn't already have if construct didn't have the distance function to calculate the, fun the distance between two points I would probably create it this way with uh, my own function so anyway I will go back to um, the list of things I wanted to cover today to be sure I didn't uh, miss anything okay it's here uh, I wanted to talk about uh, pickup I talked about variables ways to die I talked about everything I wanted to cover I think let's uh, I will just switch back to my waiting screen to sh check variables function okay so if there is there any question here something I didn't explain well anything okay there's question about functions yeah before we use groups to emulate functions but uh, if you remember the little graphics I, uh, I draw here the problem with groups is that they are in the flow of your event you can you can't here jump to uh, let's uh, represent a group with a, a big square so you can't go directly to a group and go back where you were before so before function existed 
we have to be really uh, to wait a tick before going back and using the result of uh, faked or faked function in your group. Uh, it was uh, not that easy to use, and it was uh, bound to uh, have some uh, bad interaction between uh, things happening before and even things that happen after. So uh, now that function exists, it takes all this uh, this function faking and make it in a real function outside of your flow. It means also that you can call function many many times in uh, here 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 you can call your function whereas when you had your uh, group you couldn't uh, go into your group as much time as you wanted you needed to use some tricky loops uh, okay so before function it was not as easy uh, let's see. Okay, function play uh, before is okay. Uh, oh my God, so much better. This playing function didn't know it. Almeida, you have exactly the same reaction when I learned the function plugin appear in C2. It was in Construct Classic before, and I was waiting for it for so long. Okay, so the function plugins, yes. Yeah, super. Thank you, uh, Luke. Agree uh, should be on top of the list of things you should learn C2. A uh, sign as it positive or negative? Yep. Uh, I agree it's great. Okay, follow that yeah, function can be called from different event sheet. Uh, I think yes. The function has to be defined in oh well, let's try that. You have a question for the rat and I tr I will test your uh, your question so I will define a function in an other event sheet the death function and I will include the event sheet it's I maybe no include event sheet okay it allow, allows me to show you how to include an event sheet so uh, the event sheet is included it, it defines the death function will I die Let's see. Um, where is my Yuhu, Where are you? Here. Uh, I will make sure it's uh, reloaded. Okay. I die. So you can define a function anywhere you want. You will die the same way. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, let's see. Has to be defined in the event sheet. So I think this is not true. Uh, oh, oh, it is. Has to be defined. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it was true. I didn't read the the next one. So okay, if event sheets are included, you can call them. Yeah? You can use variable in the same way. However, use variables in the same way. However. Okay. Uh, mute. Are you talking about global variables? There's something people might not know is that if I I can create a global variable event sheet and put my variable event uh, my global variable here, I don't even have to include the event sheet. And about global variables, you can cut them. And answer yes to this question, and you'll see many of your events disappear into nothingness, which is pretty scary. But if you pass them back in your project, in any event shift of your project, they go back. They are kept in memory somewhere. I don't know if it's until you close or until you. I, that's something you can test. If uh, you can test if uh, if you save and then close and then reopen and then copy your global variable back, if the events go back. I think that shouldn't, but uh, that's something uh, interesting to test. So um, 
That's one way. I don't like having uh, a global variable uh, even sheet, but that's a personal test, taste. I can understand people liking it. I just don't like having to switch between tons of... Uh,